For what purpose does the gentleman from Ohio rise? Madam Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 1687 as amended to designate the federal building and United States Courthouse located at McKinley Avenue and 3rd Street in southwest Canton, Ohio, as the Ralph Regula Federal Building and United States Courthouse. The clerk will report the title of the bill. House calendar number 64, H.R. 1687, a bill to designate the federal building and United States Courthouse located at McKinley Avenue and 3rd Street, southwest in Canton, Ohio, as the Ralph Regula Federal Office Building and Courthouse. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Bocheri, and the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Diaz-Balart, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Ohio. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have up to five legislative days within which to revise <clears throat> and extend their remarks and to include uh, extraneous material on House Resolution 1687. Without objection. Madam Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, I rise in strong support of the bill I introduced to House Resolution 1687 as amended and urge its quick passage. This bill designates the building located at McKinley and 3rd Streets, Southwest Canton, Ohio, as the Ralph Regula Federal Building and United States Courthouse. The bill has strong bipartisan support. While I know Congressman Regula as my predecessor, many of you on both sides of the aisle were also fortunate enough to call him a colleague, a mentor, and a friend. He was a true steward of his district and earned uh, every accolade from his constituents who knew him only as Ralph. He combined a unique blend of procedural acumen, hard work, and collegial personality in rising to a position of leadership on the House Appropriations Committee. All the while, he never forgot where he came from, consistently setting the standard and making sure that his constituents received the assistance they needed with their problems. As a former teacher and principal, Ralph was a leader in pushing to improve our students' reading skills, develop teacher training, and increase Pell Grant funding. He also increased by millions of dollars the amount of federal money committed to research in fighting cancer, heart disease, and birth defects. Ralph was a leader in alternative energy, and he was an early champion of fuel cell technology, helping my district earn a reputa reputation uh, as a national leader in fuel cell research and development. Congressman Ralph Regula served with distinction and represented the 16th District of Ohio for over 30 years. In fact, it was 36 years. He is a native Ohioan, born in Beach City, Ohio, on December 3, 1924. After high school, Congressman Ralph Regula served in the United States Navy with distinction and honor in World War II. He later graduated from college and earned his law degree in Canton, Ohio, at William McKinley School of Law. He went on to become a lawyer and later a state legislator. He was first elected to Congress in 1972 and served 18 consecutive terms, retiring last year to spend more time with his lovely, lovely wife, Mary, and his college sweetheart, as well as their three children and four grandchildren. As much as I wish to claim this as an original idea, I have to give thanks and credit to Senator Sherrod Brown, who first introduced this legislation last December before I was sworn in. It's appropriate that we honor Congressman Ralph Regula with this bill, because in many ways, this building would not exist without his efforts, having laid the, ground, the groundwork for it many, many years ago. Ralph Regula, the Ralph Regula Federal Building and United States Courthouse will continue Ralph's legacy, serving Stark County and for many years to come. It is most fitting and proper to honor Congressman Regula with this designation. I support this bill as amended and urge its immediate passage I reserve the balance of my time, Mr. Speaker. Gentlemen.